Hi, we're going to be presenting the neuromodulatory effects of estradiol and progesterone of ketamine suction in female rat brain. Ketamine is an anesthetic that induces psychotic episodes in humans when abused. In this project, we uh, use it in rats in using prolonged intraperitoneal ketamine that leads to psychomimetry behaviors and central nervous system changes. It says that increase locomotion. Neural networks in the mesocortical limbic pathways involving dopamine, glutamine, and GABA are affected by this synthetization. Neuroactive esteroid, as, as estradiol and progesterone, play a neuromodulatory role in response to this drug. We're going to focus in the neuroadaptation from ketamine along alongside estradiol and progesterone neuromodulation in female rats. The purpose of this work is to uh, study ketamine-induced neuroadaptation and the neuromodulatory effects of estradiol and progesterone in female rats. For this, we're going to use overreactomicide OBX female spreadoli rats, uh, drugs like ketamine, estradiol, and progesterone, and the groups are going to be eight. We're going to categorize this between uh, OBX and no OBX, and both gr groups are going to um, be a control, control, estradiol, progesterone, ketamine, ketamine, estradiol, progesterone, both OBX and no OBX. Then we're going to uh, do behavioral tests in open field and the video data is going to be processed using the Eto Watcher software. So we're going to um, do overectomies in the female rats. There we're going to uh, do open fill and then we're going to analyze using the Eto Watcher software. Um, the results are that in the control group uh, we can see that there's an increase in the locomotor activity when we administer estradiol and progesterone, but uh, if we compare with the control group. Also, if we uh, compare the ketamine group with the ketamine estradiol progesterone group, we see that there's an increase in the locomotor activity. Um, then we can see that this uh, this is this way also in the OBX group. And if we focus in the control and in the control group and in the ketamine estradiol progesterone OBX group, we can see that there's a increase in the locomotor activity than in the control group. Also if we compare the OBX and no OBX group, we can see that there's an increase when we uh, realize this um, this sur surgery. Now we can see the results uh, using the Eta Watcher software. We can see in the control groups that there's a tendency of the rat to be in the corners of the open field and in the control estradiol progesterone group we can see that there's an increase in the locomotor activity but the rat tends to be in the corner also. Finally in the ketamine group we see that there's uh, no inhibition in the movement, so they uh, tend to move uh, along all the open field uh, box. So in conclusion, we can see that if we use the estradiol and progesterone supplementation, there's an ace that uh, potential this effect. Also, uh, we can see that this mechanism involves both genomic and no genomic pathways and this suggests positive neuroadaptive plasticity in response to ketamine-induced neural changes.